exceptional. What does this mean uh, in terms of employees being exceptional? So Elon Musk said that uh, exceptional employees or some of the exceptional employees who put out exceptional work, something to that effect, uh, will still be uh, allowed to have the benefit uh, of working remotely. And so what does exceptional mean? Well, for, well, let's start with that. Let's start with the definition. It means standing out, being better than most, uh, being outstanding uh, from the crowd, uh, being something except the normal, being exceptional. Well, by its very definition, it doesn't mean everybody. So everyone might be nice. Everyone might be lovely. Everyone might have good intentions. Everybody might try fairly hard, but only a certain number will be exceptional. And I don't know what number that is, but maybe 5% or 10% or 20%. If we use Pareto's rule, we'll say 20% of the people in the company are the best of the best. They are the exceptional ones. And it is okay to judge people. It is okay to judge employees, coworkers, bosses. And if you sit down in your workspace and you really think about it, you, you look at a list of 10 of the people with whom you work most closely, and you are asked, who, who pulls their weight the absolute most? Who is the one that is always early, never late, uh, stays late, though, provides great input to everyone else, does their job and beyond, even does things that they're not asked to do, never complains about anything, and just is a workhorse, who, who are those people? And if you were going to name the top two or three out of, out of ten, I bet you that'd be pretty easy for you to do. And then if you would say, uh, or if you were asked, okay, now name the people who are not as great. Who are the bottom few people in terms of what they produce? Uh, who is always saying disgusting things like, I can't, I can't wait until tomorrow, it's Friday, then I can get two days off. And, you know, things like that where they're not excited to be able to work and produce and, and do what it is they do. So think about those people. Those are at the bottom end of the, the employees. If you're one of those people, you probably don't have a very good future at Twitter. <clears throat> Whether you're fired or you simply have to come in and you're treated fairly as you earn, as you deserve, if you're treated as the bottom 20% of the company, you know, times are so tough, it's hard finding employees. So you might be able to scrape by, but they're going to know that it takes one and a half of you to get a one-person job done. And it doesn't really matter how hard you try. Some people are so fortunate. I'm jealous of them. They seem to be able to almost effortlessly do things. And other people have to work really, really hard to get the same results. And it doesn't make either of those people uh, a better human being uh, as far as their their value to, uh, I don't know, you know, now that I say that it does. Value to the world, the value to the workplace. Yes, one of them is a better human being in terms of value to the employer. One of them is a better human being in terms of value to their family. Maybe it's the person who doesn't do as well at work. Maybe it's the person who's in the bottom 20% at work, but they're in the bottom 20% because they don't care about work. They don't have passion or uh, they just don't want to put the effort in. And instead, they're putting a lot of effort into their home life. Well, their spouse is going to say that they are absolutely exceptional at being a wife or husband or whatever. Father, kid, whatever. However, at work, they are not exceptional. So, when you think about your job, if you want to keep that particular job, and a job isn't a right, it's a job is basically an agreement. It's kind of like dating someone or being someone's friend, or you're just meeting another person and you're saying, hey, I see you have something that needs to be done. I know how to do that thing, uh, but my time ain't free. <laughs> let's, uh, let's see, what will you pay me for me to come and accomplish doing that thing? And then you come to an agreement and you do that. It's kind of like a friendship. Hey. I notice you like some of the same stuff I do. I kind of like you. You kind of like me. Hey, how about we? Uh, I get to have some time with you. You get to have some time with me, and we, we call it good, and then we both come out ahead. It's the same thing. Being married, they're just relationships. So having a job is just a relationship. 
either of you can get into it or get out of it anytime you want, and you hopefully think you're getting more value from having that job, hopefully the owner, the boss, whatever, they think they're getting more value from having you there. If they're not, then why would they have you there? Why not just form a new relationship with someone who is good for what the company needs for producing the, the product, the good product, the good service, whatever it is. So yeah, if you want to be at the top, you're going to have to work harder, or if you're lucky, you don't have to work harder as long as you're producing a bunch. If at the end of the day or week, you can say, you know, I was expected to produce whatever it is you do, whether it's service or products, you know, you guys figured I could do 100 widgets this week and I got 150 done. And everyone else is getting between 80 and 120 done. Well, if you're getting 150 widgets done well, you are exceptional at work and you will be rewarded for that. Maybe you'll be able to make widgets at home. And of course, when I say widgets, I'm not talking about actual widgets. In the case of Twitter, it would be writing code or doing the, the censoring what people say or and it'll change, the censorship will change some with Elon's, uh, you know, thinking and his philosophy, but it'll still, it'll still be a certain amount of censoring things that owners, managers don't, don't like or think is harmful or, wow, that's just one reason they might like something or not. Um, so yeah, you, you're, it's not going to be widget making, but you know, you get what I'm saying. Uh, it, it's producing, producing the thing that the, the organization is paid for uh, by customers, by clients. So, uh, that's kind of rambly, but that's exceptional. Uh, that's being exceptional. Uh, do you want to be exceptional? Do you want to get paid exceptionally? Do you want to have little fringe benefits like working remotely, like getting bonuses, like getting raises, like being able to call your own schedule, like having more time off, that kind of thing? If you want those things, be exceptional. Whether it takes you a lot of work or it comes easy, be exceptional.